Hello everybody and welcome back to Nuclear Throne. We're back again and you may notice there's some new characters here. We're actually using a beta version of the various add-on mods that I've been using for the past two episodes um, that was sent to me by the developer. So I'm excited to see what the uh, what content it holds. We're not going to play the new characters yet because I know that some of them are still work in progress and stuff. But we do have them available to us if we want. Um, I need to sort of decide slash speak to my artist. And, and see if he wants to draw thumbnails for all these custom characters. Because it's quite a lot of stuff to do. And of course, it's also a thing on my behalf too. Because I do pay him <laughs> uh, to, to draw my thumbnails. So, obviously it's not... Um, it's, it's, it's a decision I've got to make. How much am I going to uh, play these characters? Is it going to be uh, worth it? I mean, it's always worth it to see his art. Because it's always brilliant. But, you know what I mean. Um... If there's a character I'm gonna, only going to play once, it's probably not the best idea. Ooh, uh, Energized and Think Tank is really good this early. This is going to be a very good run to start off. Uh, but yeah, we're hopefully going to see some new guns. I don't know what else is contained in the current version. I'm mainly aware of new guns and the new characters. We shall see how it goes, um, and I'm sure the developer will be uh, watching along and can point out in the comments anything new that, uh, that we saw. Because for me, it, it can be quite difficult for me to um, identify what's coming from what mod and what's caused by what. Um, so it, it'd be nice if the developer would point out some of the stuff that we saw from their mod, um, especially stuff that is new in this beta version that we ha maybe haven't prior seen. Um, so we'll we'll see about that. But is it Faria that adds the uh, adds the speed up after teleport after the levels cleared when there's only the portal left once the portal spawns? Because if it is, very good. I really like it. It's a really good idea. I can't, I can't remember if it is your mod. I might be giving you credit for someone else's work, but whoever did that, great work. Um, honestly, I'm gonna go with confidence. I know we're not on maximum HP right now, but with Think Tank, we're likely to get there pretty quickly with the the health boxes and stuff. I, I really love Think Tank. I think Think Tank's one of the uh, one of the mutes that you can get that, that's that's really impactful the earlier you get it, and it makes it very fun to use. I don't really know what's going on down there in the corner here. That's what's going on down in the corner here. Um, ooh, the Kaboomerang, the Burn, the Slugger. I think I'll take the Slugger. Um, the Kaboomerang's interesting, but you find that I always kill myself with it, funnily enough. <laughs> It's almost like it's an explosive weapon and turtles can't be trusted around explosives. Anyways, keep on going. Feel pretty happy to be where we are right now. And hopefully we can get confidence to, to, to start triggering. I killed that assassin completely by accident and I'm very happy for it. But yeah, hopefully we can get confidence to start triggering on this stage, get some healing. So far so good though. I've had some some tips given to me about how I can maybe uh, start working on unlocking the character that's in the uh, that's in the throne room that I still haven't managed to uh, the crown room. Sorry that I still haven't managed to um, get yet. And I probably will maybe like try and lock it off camera because it seems like I'm gonna have to disable a lot of my mods in order to make it properly work. And I probably should. Honestly, this that's such a good. That's such a good thing to grab for uh, grabbing bullet weapons that I think I'm going to. Okay, that was a little, little much. Bouncer shotgun. Oh, it works on the bouncer weapons. Nice. I kind of thought it might, but I wasn't sure. Great to find out that it actually does. Okay, let's let's just be real cautious here because I'm I'm in a tricky situation right now. Okay. So, one of the tips I was given... Also, let's just crack it. One of the tips I was given is the mute that it gives you to start with is always one that you don't have, which is something I didn't know. So, what we can do is go here, help them find the max ammo one. We'll also do this for an extra mute, I think, and then we'll try and make our way back in after having got that. So let's take that and then, ooh, I don't know if we have anything that thick head will work really well with, honestly. Uh, ooh, actually, turtle shell could work really well. Double turtle shell for even, even more reduced damage taken. Okay, this is strong. I 
think we got him. That was strong. I like what we had going on there. Skin is crawling. So we should hopefully take very little damage, meaning the health we lost there, health we gave up, should I say. Yeah, very minor. We just got walked into by one of those dudes and it is one damage. That's insane. That's so useful. This could be very, very strong. Make sure we don't get hit by one of these dudes' projectiles, because they always kill me. Sword throw is an interesting one. Okay, possibility of some better weapons here. Let's just take you out. We've got the heavy slugger there. I really want something... Ooh, okay. Even better here. Um... We've, so, we've already got the, the thingy one. Do we take flaming? Because we've already got the one that makes that makes the bullet weapons um, explosive. So, homing... I feel like we have to take homing. Like, homing with, with the bouncer weapons is just so good. We've also got a heavy side revolver there as well. Be careful here. Okay, got hit a little bit there. Actually, quite a bit of damage there. Yeah, we might want to swap this out for the heavy, you know. Okay, got some health there. We need to get confidence propped again. I'm gonna go and take the heavy revolver because it's just more accurate. I think it'll be I think it'll do us better. We got the jump gun there. Not quite sure what that does, but lots of chests about, that's always good. Yeah, okay, good, good. Maximum HP now. Oh god, I got hit again straight away. I was like, cool, we finally got back to max HP. Immediately gets hit. A Volvo gun, the Malstorm. Okay, okay. Seeing some interesting stuff. Civilization. Okay, keep this going. This is really good. I really want my confidence to come back the... The duelist is on the floor there. Honestly, this might do a good job in here. The electricity and all that jazz. The... Oh, I don't even know what this is. It's pretty good. Pushette shotgun is always pretty decent. I don't really know how good this thing is. Give me some max HP. Yeah, go away, saw blades. Oh, for I got hit by the saw blade. Hmm. Honestly, whoever. Oh my god. I get so mad at this game. Just. Hmm. Oh, God. Sorry. It's just... I don't want to be mean, but I just don't get how you develop that and think it's fun. <laughs> it's so bad. A random bouncy projectile that's very unpredictable that can basically one-shot you. It's just like, oh, why? Why would you add that? It's horrible. <laughs> it's just, It's just awful. Oh my god. I just think, yeah, those enemies are horrible. They add very little to the game apart from just annoyance. Anyways, enough of my ranting. I don't I don't like getting annoyed or ranting about things people have made, especially in modding, because it takes talent and thought does go into it, but it just there's a lot of things in modding that especially in this game specifically. 
that that get me. They really get to me. We got a pretty good setup here though. I'm happy to have it. Big bandit. Nice harpoon launcher there. I think this gun, the starting gun's just so good though. I don't know where Big Bandit is. I've kind of lost track of him, I'll be honest. He oh, dies up here. Nice. Didn't quite level up there, that's fine. We got we got decent mutes already. I just I like it when we get the thick head ones. Thick head's so rare, and I like it when we get like a really good one like the uh turtle shell, and it's like, nah nah, I'm just gonna shit on you with a saw blade. Cool, cool, cool mute setup, cool weaponry. Oh, that's fun. That, that could be fun. Lol, bye, dead. Could have been interesting if you didn't die to some BS, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, we'll path our way down here. Hopefully we can build something equally as fun. Right now we've got a pretty, pretty standard combo. Good, good. Double shot is just too attempting not to take right now. I think we can do this. I think we've got the uh, we've got the stuff to do this. And we can bring cool guy along for the ride too. It's cool guy. Let's go. Just chill here for a minute, because they'll all come up out of these pipes. I see you, boys. I see you. Coming up out the pipes. I get you. I get you. Oh my god, that's a lot of enemies. Just get the poison throwing ones and we'll be fine. Pizza there for me, nice. Ammo pickups, we just go with the rads here, don't we? What the hell? Where did you come from? Cheeky bastard. Okay, we got some pizza there, though. It's fine. Back up to full. I love the pizza drops. Right. Some enemies back here, I think. Where you at, boys? There you go. And here we go. We are good to go on the bosses. Don't have a lot of ammo to work with, but I think this setup should be fine for that. To be fair, this, this boss can really destroy me, so... Okay, got it. You should be dead pretty quick here. There we go. I see you there. Nice one. That was a good stage. Good stage. Very much liked. Ooh, definitely take steel nerves. We're building up something nice and defensive here. You need to calm down, sir. I've run out of ammo. Knife thrower's always good. A kaboomerang just scares the shit out of me, because I know I'm going to kill myself with it. <laughs> it's just when. Like Kevin Cosner. Okay. Intriguing. Hello, hello. I have come to kill all of you indiscriminately. Nice. I love the multi-explosions like that. So satisfying. Assassin, please. <laughs> oh, the police. Oh, we got the popper. I'll definitely take the popper. We've had a really good popper run before. Poppers are a great weapon. So fun to use. 
There's one police dude over here, right? Oh, two, okay. Got him. We good to go. Okay, uh, pet slots could be interesting, but I don't think they're great. We'll go with that now as well. Big dog is here. I think we're actually better off with the popper on the boss itself than the, than the smaller guys. I hate the little buggy snipers that hide behind the boss. Unfair. You die by the explosion. Good. That's another weapon that I never really use. The flamethrowers. I've never really used the flamethrowers in this game. Even in the base game. I don't know. I've always found them to be a bit of a weird niche gun type. Like, I never really know where they fit in. Okay, so we're one-shotting these dudes. That's good at least. Getting levels on the regular. Oh, damn. I got, like, double hit there. We should get some health back, though, this stage. We do have one of the big boys. She's our infinite ammo here while we can. There you go. No health, though. Okay. Odd. It's okay. We've still got eight. Hey, so we did get this. Um, it doesn't work with the popper, unfortunately. Um, chests give infinite ammo. Honestly, that sounds awesome. Especially if you get Think Tank rolling. Imagine getting Think Tank with that. Just infinite ammo everywhere. You'd have some real good, real good runs with that. Some of the most beefy weapons. Get onto a loop and there's just gonna be chests everywhere. Insta-killing everything. It's so fun. What? Okay, that's got to be a new gun from various. It looks like it. Super Buster. I don't know. Maybe? Whoa, that's a big magazine right there. Don't really know what to think of it, to be honest. It seems pretty good. I'll tell you that. Very hard to hit things, though. I'll also admit that. Also uses a lot of ammo. Not quite sure what to think of that. It seems a little bit slow to be utilized to its full potential. But I can imagine with some bullet modifiers, it's, it's really good. Especially with some m more ammo gaining abilities and stuff like that. Impact fist there as well. Like, I imagining, like, for big groups of enemies, it's really good, too. And, like, enemies behind walls and stuff. Why was that one so small? I think it loses size. Yeah, it does. It loses size depending on the amount of uh, enemies it hits. It's basically Proptosis from the Binding of Isaac, but in gun form. The more it hits, the more it goes through, the weaker the projectile gets. It's kinda, I kind of like it. Just, I do think it's a little bit slow to be used super effectively. This is the Smart Mortar. That's pretty fucking cool. That's pretty fucking cool. Um, shotgun blasts a damaging wave. Uh, probably want to go with tough stuff. That's so cool. Oh, hello. Calm down, policey boys. He's dead now. Daddy's dead. Your big daddy is dead. I like this mortar, though. The range that it has is just incredible. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but the fact that I can basically fire it from anywhere on the map, and, like, it has this awesome animation as well. Pretty good. I like it. Oh, we got... There was the infinite ammo weapon there. Oh, 
probably don't want to get too close to those guys when we're, when we're like, right there. Probably missed out on quite a lot of rads there as well, I'll admit, but that's okay. God damn it, go away. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it's pretty good. The Auto Duster Shotgun. Oh, that's so cool. I'm going to take that just out of how cool it is. I don't know how good it is, but it's cool. I like its projectiles. They make me smile. wonder how it works with shotgun mods. Probably not very well, but... <laughs> Um, honestly, I'm going to go with that because I think it's going to be really good with this uh, mortar thing. We don't need accuracy for this bad boy. We're dead. Makes this thing pretty fast too, actually. Oh shit, I went to the other I just opened up the other stage, didn't I? Didn't mean to do that. Um Super crossbows. There's two we we gotta take a super crossbow. There's two of them here. Hmm. Right, let's go. I forgot about this place, I'll admit. Keep it moving. I love the targeting system on this, it's so cool. Two shots to kill a big boy. We can start to fire it before we even see the enemies too, which is nice. Beautiful. Where are the dragons? Oh, let's just spam some of it out there. Kind of goes through ammo pretty quick, but damn well kills him pretty fast. I don't think it hurts us too. I think that blue explosions just straight up don't hurt you. Grenade mini factory. No, not a good idea. That is certain death for myself. Absolute certain death for myself, that is. Okay, we got enemies sometimes drop chests, which sounds real good. Um, infinite ammo, uh, faster reload while rolling. Uh, reaching max ammo uses ammo to give you more max ammo. I'm gonna go with the chests one, because I think that'll be really good. I like it. Super Splinter Splinter Pistol. I think that could be quite good. I like it. I like it. Right, get all my rads. Right. Check out our weaponry here. We got Bayonet Shotgun, Ghost Gatling Slugger, the Heavy Nuke Launcher. Oh my god. Sire, Sire Razor's pretty good. I do like a Sire Razor. I'll, I'll stick with what I got right now. It's low ammo, so it's a little scary, but I kind of like it. Let's roll over there. Let's see what we can do. See what we can do. How about that? So, get like, relatively up close and personal. Yeah. We 
get a decent amount of infinite ammo too. Nice. Put the whole target square around the entire throne. It did good. It did good. You get about three or four seconds in front of ammo by the looks of it. Innovate. I'm just hoping we get a lot of chest drops here. A 53 times combo. Noise. Nice. <laughs> All that max HP. I love it. We're through. Didn't mean to go through, but we're through. Right. What you got for us? I guess. I'm going to do this too. Seems like a good idea right now. Camouflage. Okay, I think higher ammo max is probably the best for us, even though Crystalline Growth is really good because we've got Cool Guy. Okay, so it seems that the chests don't drop super regularly, but, like, regularly enough. Okay, I need to stop firing. Cool Guy! I was like, I need to stop firing to let Cool Guy pay out, and he just wouldn't. And then this motherfucker. It's just... Man, there are so many things. This I, 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 I genuinely think Nuclear Throne is a fantastic roguelike. But he has some of the most stupid shit in it. Like this motherfucker. I hate this enemy. It's so dumb. Basically, if it hits you ever, it's an insta-kill. And it's super easy for it to hit you. And, oh, good little hunter and all that crap. Oh my god, it, it makes me mad. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Very fun run nonetheless. And I'll see you guys in the next one.